Well, good morning. And it's another beautiful day in paradise. What is this British weather, people? We it goes from like minus seven and today it's 14. It is boiling compared to that, but at least we're not slipping sliding everywhere on the ice and my boat is free, but it's so windy, you can probably hear it. And the boat's just banging about all over the place. It's from the sublime to the ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, anyway, I'm going shopping uh, and I'm going to nip into the charity shop as well. I say it's morning, it's not, it's afternoon. I'm going, <laughs> it's lunchtime. And I'm taking a break from work and go, uh, yeah, go some bits for food because I'm out of food and do a bit of shopping. So, should be nice. Hello. Well, it's a gorgeous day. It's cold, but not, it's not icy. Um, but it's gorgeously sunny. So I'm sitting outside with my coffee. So happy winter solstice, everybody. It's the shortest day of the year today, 21st. Um, and it's it's just lovely. I couldn't couldn't have chosen a nicer day for the solstice. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I just had some doggy love. I got some like I don't know if you can see that. Um, I got fur all over me, which is great. I love dogs. I absolutely adore dogs. I'd love to have a dog, uh, but I'm just not sure I can afford one. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, but I just love I love doggy love. So it's great when someone walks past with a dog. Oh, oh, let's feel that sun. Oh, I'm just going to soak here and get all that vitamin D. <laughs> By the time this video goes out, uh, it will be after Christmas. So to everyone watching, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and New Year, probably. Um, but for me, this is my Christmas Eve and I'm actually going out to a little party. So the local uh, deli shop and cafe to me is a place called Moolah in Ellesmere and it's lovely and they're throwing a little get together tonight. So yeah, so I'm going out for a very rare night out. Now, I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk to you about what uh, clothes you might actually have if you live on a boat. So I had a lot of clothes when I lived in a house. I had a huge wardrobe, a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, um, and I got rid of almost all of it. So now everything is in here. This is a really small wardrobe. Um, it's bigger than it looks, so it kind of it is bigger than that. It goes further. So you've got hanging space in the top, and I've got some a couple of shelves in the bottom. Uh, and I also have a little chest of drawers, which is uh, covered in clothes. So, <laughs> um, so basically, yeah, I don't have much at all anymore. I, I have two dresses. So I do occasionally wear a dress, not since I moved on the boat though, I have to admit, but I'm slowly, I keep getting rid of stuff. So the longer I'm on the boat, the more I get rid of. So I've still got two dresses, uh, kind of a jersey dress and a more like a uh, more formal dress but I got rid of all like my really formal stuff because I knew I would never wear it again um, even if I was invited somewhere like a wedding I'd still go kind of semi-casual or I'd get something from the charity shop now this was the dilemma I had for this New Year's uh, New Year's Eve Christmas Eve party is I thought I'd get something from the charity shop um, which I did. So it's a little uh, sequiny top and uh, like white fluffy cardigan and I'll just either put on a pair of jeans, my neatest pair that might still be clean, uh, or um, just wear like thick black leggings. Um, and I've got like furry boots that I'm going to wear that are kind of clean. Uh, so yeah, so it's still possible to do uh, if you go out. So I'll show you how much room I've got in here. So there's not a lot. So I have wardrobe, that door keeps shutting on me, is it going to stay? Uh, one wardrobe of hanging space and then as I say I've got a couple of shelves in the bottom. Uh, there you go, you can see a couple of shelves and I basically um, put these boxes on and then it's got like tops and stuff in there and then it's easier to kind of get in and out and the same down here. Oh, this is a bit, little bit awkward, I have like a box of jumpers and stuff. Um, and then a box of random bits on the other side. So, yeah, you do you do have to get rid of a lot more stuff. I do have some things under the bed, so my bed's behind me. Um, like, I have a box which has some shoes in and also, like, um, you know, hat and scarf. And in summer, 
I keep my winter coat and stuff under there and I have got some summer clothes under there. I have a pair of shorts, which I haven't worn in like three years um, and some really thin, like thin summer trousers and they are under the bed as well. I probably have got the room to keep them up here, but it's just a little bit easier if I'm not constantly, um, you know, like pushing clothes aside. I hate that. I'm just more likely to just throw it all away if that happens. Um, so bags wise, if you like a bag, I generally have a rucksack everywhere I go, but I do have, I have two bags. I have one which is kind of like a handbaggy thing, which is, you know, neat-ish. And I have a bag, like a blue satchel bag that I used to use when I worked in an office. Um, so I've kept that because I liked it. And I was only actually in the office for three months uh, before I started working from home. So I kind of felt like it hasn't really given me um, the money's worth, although I got that from the charge shop. Most of my clothes do come from the charge shop. I have very little that's actually new. Oh, um, but yeah, so that was just a bit of a, a bit of a brief um, introduction, discussion, I don't know, just a, a brief example of what it's like to live on a boat in terms of clothes. Um, shoes, yeah, I don't have any heels, I got rid of that. The tow path or marina isn't exactly conducive to wearing heels um, and I've never found them that comfortable anyway. I'm more of a Genus, jeans and a sweatshirt kind of person or in the winter I'm wearing um, two like two jogging bottoms um, so yeah I'm very much a comfort over style kind of a person but um, I was younger once I did go out and I did wear like ni nicer, nicer stuff um, but yeah so that's it really um, I do have shoes wise I have a couple of slip on like pumps that I wear if I go like to a swimming pool or something um, I have these fluffy boots I'm gonna wear I have walking boots I have wellies and uh, I do have some nice flip-flops as well if I go anywhere nice so yeah um, so I hope that was interesting for you um, and yeah, as I say, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and hopefully I'm going to do the cooking video soon. So I've ordered, well I haven't actually ordered it, I was looking online today for a tripod um, for my phone because doing a cooking video, and I know I promised you it ages ago, it's really hard to do one handed to do some cooking. So I'd really like to put my phone on the worktop and then show you how like cooking and, and stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, I'll do that on my next video. I might do a bit of an introduction to the kitchen So I did want to go through before I start cooking about what sort of things you can have in an Arabic kitchen um, How much space you might have which is not very much and I've also got rid of a load of stuff recently It's still here, but it's in charity shop bags and it is going and that's a lot of kitchen stuff like uh, cooking utensils and stuff that I no longer need so be interesting to show you but yeah, we'll see how we get on Well, that was a nice evening, but it is absolutely pissing it down and I've just ran slash walked quickly home. So, oh, boat life, eh? Joy's the boat in. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everybody. It's Christmas Day. Uh, it's about quarter to twelve and I've got my coffee. Cheers. And I put the fire on this morning. It took forever. It really didn't want to uh, light this morning. I had to use three fire lighters in the end. Normally I can get away with one, um, but I think it's just so damp out there that, well, it's damp in here too. And the wood just doesn't want to do it. It just smoked for ages and it set the fire alarm up, the smoke alarm off as well. So, but it is now roaring away. It's actually a little bit too warm, um, which is fine. <laughs> and the TV is on. There's Shrek on the TV, Shrek the Third. Um, I don't normally watch TV at Christmas, so I'm taking full advantage of being on my own and just, yeah, I'm gonna binge watch some TV, I think. I need to do the dishes, um, and I'm thinking about making some soup. I think I might make broccoli soup, uh, but the pan I want needs washing, so I'll do that. But first, look, I'm decorating the Christmas tree. <laughs> so I've just, um, my friend sent me this Christmas tree. Um, sorry, I'll just get comfy. My friend sent me this Christmas tree about three years ago. It was in the post and it's um, from, uh, is it Bloom and Wild? I think that's the name of the company. And it comes flat pack in the post and it was a lot smaller than this. And of course, this is the stonking pot now. It comes with like a soft um, fluffy pot, which is about a quarter the size of this. And the tree's really grown and the, the decorations look a bit um, pansy on it now, but it's still really cute. Um, if I remember, I'll try and put a picture after this clip of what it looked like when I first got it. 
Um, but I've got one bit of decoration left, which is little little glass baubles. So they're so cute. It's really quality quality stuff here. So let's see. I don't know if I can do it from this angle. Hang on. There we go. That's a bit easier. It feels like one of those um, children's programmes or house programmes like, come decorate the tree with me. <laughs> I'll probably put all these on and then decide they're in completely the wrong place and redo it all. Um, but yeah, so I hope you all, hope you all had a fabulous Christmas. Um, and oh, hopefully next year, I keep dropping these. Um, that's what happens when you do it one handed, isn't it? Um, next year, hopefully, I will have ooh, um, my engine fixed and we will be able to go out on the boat more, which would be great. My brother's coming in January, so if the engine's fixed then, we might take him, take him away with us. Just for the day, nothing too special. Ooh, I just got a whiff of that, that lovely coniferous smell. I was going to say pine, but I'm pretty sure this is not pine. Anyway, I will finish doing this um, and then later on I'm going to go to the pub but I was going to dress up, not dress up like super sparkly like last night, but I was going to wear one of those dresses I mentioned, just the jersey dress, but to be honest I can't be bothered. One, one day a year in neat clothes is enough for me and I'm just going to keep my comfy stuff on, so <laughs> yes, yeah, it's far too much effort to do it more than once a year. <laughs> Well, have a good one and we'll see you in the new year. Bye. Here's me at my local pub, which is called the White Hart in Ellesmere. It's a fabulous pub. So this is me uh, on Christmas Day. And I also made a friend. Well, she's already a friend, but she came in especially to see us on Christmas Day. Her name's Lolita, or Lolly for short, and she can't keep still. And here's me trying to get some selfies from her, unsuccessfully, I have to say.